What's up, YouTube? For tonight's video, we have a Necrozmaforms team. Man, oh man, I've really been looking forward to using this one. I've got some magical sets for you guys. They're hilarious. So yesterday, I gave you guys the opportunity to use my theme teams uh, via QR. Now, I actually made a little bit of a boo-boo. Um, so to, in today's video, what you actually have to do is not scan a barcode. You need to actually go to the description of this video. I'll leave a link in there. That's for the global link. What you need to do is click on the link, and it'll bring you to my team uh, page, and then you have to scan a barcode on there yourself. So the barcode itself is randomly generated for each user. That's why it didn't work for a lot of people yesterday. Now, I will put the link for yesterday's team and today's team in the across the one in the description please people i'd love you to use my teams and experience some of my salt let's get into this one so this was a battle against skylar on my chat uh, any feedback on the layout or anything i'd love that i think it looks a lot cleaner without the barcode there it's not so much of an eyesore um, it's looking good. So now we have a Pyco lead. Um, I'm going to become nimble by using uh, Autodemise. Now that's going to boost my speed. This is a physical sweeping Necrozma. I've got max health, max attack. Now Autodemise to boost my speed. I've got Psycho Cut for stab um, and going for those crits as well. I've got Scope Lens as the item. I've got um, Earthquake and X Scissor. Now let me explain why I chose those moves. Earthquake for steel types, X Scissor for opposing psychic types and dark types. So I felt that was the best coverage for a um, Necrozma physical set. That Pyco missed two Toxics in a row. Man, they must be salty. Anyway, so in comes the Guzzlord. The best I can do against this is X Scissor, so that's not too bad. If I got a crit, you know, that'll be absolutely wonderful. So going for the crit on the Guzzlord, still does pretty good damage, I guess. Now it's going to go for the stockpile. Now this is problematic. However, I do have a little way around it. If I do get a crit, I can get around that. Um, obviously, they have no idea that I've got um, scope lens on at the moment. So that's what I was hoping to go for a critical hit. So going for a second X Scissor against the Guzzlord. Now Guzzlord is going to go for a normal MZ. As soon as I see normal MZ, my salt detector sort of started you know, ringing, and I knew that it was going to be Z Stockpile. So what Z Stockpile does is it heals all the damage off. So, oh man, and obviously it has the same effects with Stockpile too, so it gets a plus one in defense and a plus one in special defense. So all the hard work I did earlier on is not going to be much. So I'm in a position here where I'm going to have to swap or go into another Pokemon or stay in and try and get the crit. It was a 50-50 chance, so I decided to stay in because I thought, let's go for that, uh, I want to go for that X Scissor crit. Anyway, so Gusslord's going to go for the Toxic, which is problematic. I was actually a little bit scared of Dark Pulse on it. I was like, oh, this is going to be very, very difficult against my team. <laughs> anyway, so swapping out in a crossbow, I was like, well, I, I really can't do anything against this thing. I'm going to really have to go for all... Um, like a toxic on this thing. So bringing in my um, bringing in my Lunala, my, my Necrozma Lunala. Now we've got uh, the Dawn Wing. So we've got on this set, we've got a classic Pimp Knight Rest Sleep Talk, Toxic and Moon Geist Beam. I've got Max Health, Max Special Defense. Uh, the rest of EVs are in defense. So getting the Toxic up against the Guzzlord, which was good because I didn't really have too many ways to actually hit this thing. Now that was such an important play right there. You'll see at the uh, later end of the video. So it's going to go for a Snarl. So that's going to drop my special attack. Not that I can really do much against this thing. All I've got is Moon Guys Beam and Toxic. And it's already Toxic, so... Yeah, I wanted to try and, when I use these Pokemon, right, I wanted to try and use difficult sets, not, not like easy ones, you know. These are very powerful Pokemon, so I wanted to really, you know, nerf them down as much as I could and try and use some really fun sets, as usual, you know, that's usually how I roll. Anyway, so going for uh, the rest there, I want to get all my health back, maybe stack a little bit of damage up with this Guzzlord. Now, it's going to keep going for the Snarl, and that's about a four-hit KO. It's dropping my special attack, though, so even if I go for a Moon Guys Beam, it's going to do, like, donkeys. And it doesn't have a lot of PP either, so that's a bit of a problem. Anyway, so I thought, well, at least I can stay in here for a little bit, maybe go for a sleep talk, and uh, see if I can get some damage off on it. However, the Guzzlord is going to swap out, and now we have Aridos coming in here, so there's not a lot I could do apart from just go for the Moon Guys Beam against the thing, since it's already a Poison type. So going for the sleep talk, hoping I can get the Moon Guys Beam, and guys, what do you know, I got rest. Okay, so that's a given, it normally always happens. So also the item on this is leftovers if that wasn't already obvious. So it's got the prism armor too, which is going to make it very, very bulky. So now I'm going to go for the sleep talk again because this is my second turn of being asleep. So now going for the sleep talk, hoping I can get the moon guys babe, and I get rest twice in a row. Oh. Anyway, so it's going to go for the sword dance. I'm like, oh, oh no, I'm going to get swept by this. Can't wait to upload this one, people. Anyway, so the uh, leftovers is going to give me some more health recovery. If this thing has night, I was really worried about night slash. Anyway, so it's going to ha not have that. It's going to have shadow sneaking in instead, which is going to outspeed me with priority. Does a lot of damage to me. I'm able to get a moon guy's beam off in case it's got something like focus ash. I just wanted to break that. Now I did have a plan 
to uh, going into this battle, but it wasn't really working so far. Anyway, so Moon Guy's Beam is going to do like donkeys because if you remember before, I did have a lot of snarl drops from the Guzzlord. And plus, I don't have anything in special attack EVs either. So anyway, the Ariados is going to go for yet another Shadow Sneak against me. And that is going to be enough to take out my Dawnwings Necrozma. Rip. So I've only got I've only got three Pokemon, obviously. Um, now, just a little fun fact: you can't have multiples of the same. You know, you can't have two of each of the Necrozma, like the Dawn Necrozmas. Um, you know, the Dust Assault. Uh, like, oh my God, Solgaleo Necrozma. You get what I mean. You can't have multiples of them because you can only use that item once on each game. So that what's made it quite tricky. Anyway, so bringing back in my Necrozma, the physical set I had before, Psycho Cut uh, gets rid of the Aridos. So that's good. That's a threat out of the way. I did, however, get hit by the Shadow Snake. Didn't do a lot due to uh, my ability Prism Armor as well. So now Trevenant comes in. Now this is where the battle started to get interesting. So I was hoping to get a crit against this thing. Unfortunately, I didn't. Now Trevenant is very, very bulky, so I knew that I had to get two crits to take this out. However, there was the fact that it could have a berry as well, so I was I was banking on it probably having berry. So this is worrying me. It's setting the sun up. So it's like, oh boy, if this is harvest, it's going to be able to harvest its berry 100% of the time in the sunshine. If there's no sun on the field, it's 50%. Anyway, so going for the uh, psycho cut again, hoping to get the crit. However, Trevor is going to have harvest. Of course it is, and it's going to have citrus berry. Now in the sun, it's going to use growth. Now when you use growth in the sun, right? Instead of getting a plus, instead of getting a plus one and pl uh, plus one in attack, plus one in special attack with no sun, you get double that. So you get double the stat boost. So this is, you know, this is starting to get really dangerous. I got to get rid of this thing. So going for another psycho cut here. I love, I love how Necrozma um, uses attacks like earthquakes. It looks like really, really cool. Like how it's, you know, lifts his arms up. Anyway, that's just a. Uh, it looks, it looks really cool. So Trevor's going to go for the Phantom Force anyway. So the good thing about that is it has a two-turn charge move. It doesn't have like Shadow Claw or something. That's good. I guess it means it can't attack straight away. Anyway, I'm pretty much dead in the water. I've got a poison and I cannot do anything. Um, I'm going to outspeed it. So my normal Necrozma is going to get spanked on this black um, behind and I'm going to go down. But that... Oh, look at its behind it. I, I can't... Does it even have a butt? Anyway, so Necrozma is down. I've got one more Pokemon left, people. It's time to bring in, the, bring in the big clutch. So I've got my final Necrozma, my dust main. This set was crazy. So I've got Iron Defense on this. I've got Calm Mind. I've got Moonlight. And I've, I've got Confusion. So you could probably guess where this one's going, but I'm not going to say uh, at the moment if you uh, cannot guess it. So I've got Max Health. Uh, max defense, uh, bold, na <laughs> bold nature. So I've got. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to. I'm just going to let you guys watch this one. This is very, very funny. Anyway, so Trevor has got a lot of stat boosts up on me. It's going to try and spank me again. But I've got the iron defense up, which is going to get rid of its, um, you know, its boost from growth before. Plus, I've got that prism armor, is which is really going to help. Like all of them have the ability, so it's very, very handy. So going for a uh, calm mind this turn, boosting my special attack and special defense, just in case there was any special attacking Pokemon in the back. And it was, you know, I wasn't aware of. Um, there was that Guzzlord still left as well. So uh, Trevor is going to match my boost with the growth, right? Now, since the sun's not up, it's not going to get that times two from growth. It's only get plus one in attack and special attack. So I thought this is a prime opportunity to start setting up some of my stats. So I'm trying to uh, make myself bulky and obviously offensive. So I've got uh, some iron defenses up and I've got some calm mines up, which is nice. Um, so I'm over, over, I'm like really, really bulky and I've got Moonlight to recover off the damage too. However, with the sun up, Moonlight uh, is, is going to be good as well. So going for the um, Iron Defense here, so I'm trying to get those uh, boosts up. I want to get that to max so, you know, when Trevenant gets its gross up, it can already be max. So we're basically going to be doing the same damage as we were if we didn't have any stat boost. So the Trevenant is boosting in the sun with its stats. I'm going to go for another car mine. Now, I was thinking, uh, I've got to take this thing out in one blow. I was just going to keep harvesting its freaking citrus berry back and just making me even saltier than the usual. So, things were not looking good, people. I was 4 2. Well, I was already like 6 3 down to start off with, but I was 4 2 down. So, is. Sorry, uh, sorry, 4 1 down. What am I talking about? 4 1 down. So, things were definitely not honky dory, people. They were. That were dire straits. So getting off the uh, calm mind again, boosting my special defense and special attack again. So I've got about three of them up. I've got six to plus six in defense from the iron defense. I really like iron defense. The um, animation for it looks absolutely badass. So now I'm going to go for another calm mind. This is my fourth calm mind. So I'm actually getting close to max in both stats. Now Trevor is going to go for another fan force. I'm guessing they're going to go for a critical hit at this stage in the game. Like as we're matching each other's stats. Um, really, like, I was super, super bulky, so that was good. However, I had to have some form of offense. 
It's coming, people. It's coming. So now, I'm going to go for the Moonlight here. Um, just healing up all my damage that I took earlier on. I was, I was a little bit wary of critical hits. Like, I already had some bad luck with this team earlier on. So I didn't want this to happen. Now, the good, the great thing about this was the Phantom Force, right? If, obviously, Phantom Force has higher base power. It can bust through and protect and a lot of things. It's that cost of that two-turn thing that really allowed me to set all these up. So going for another car mine again. I think this was my fifth or sixth one. I'm getting very close to max. Anyway, I'm super, super bulky. Trevor is going to, once again, uh, hit me for a pretty light attack. It's That's looking like about a five-hit KO, um, even at like you know the same stat boost. Anyway, so people, as you guessed, I've got the Ultra Necrozmium Z. Now, so many people were joking in my um, comment section about some of my Pokemon. Say, oh, Pim's probably going to use the Confusion Sweep on the cross, but that's exactly what I wanted to do, people. As soon as I seen this Pokemon, like, does this get Confusion? And it does. Trevor, it gets buried by Confusion. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, so out comes the uh, Shiny Minute. I really like Shiny Minute. It looks, um, looks awesome. So now it's going to go for its shields down, which is going to make it more bulky in defense. However, I've got confusion, so don't you worry, people. Don't you worry. So go for the confusion. Since I uh, digivolved into uh, Ultra Necrozma, I'm a lot more offensive now. Minior just gets dropped, baby. It's down. There's two more Pokemon left remaining. Now we have Giratina, um, which is uh, a little bit of a problematic Pokemon. It is a, you know, it's a ghost type too. Uh, it's also got pressure. No, I had to give my um, PP ups <laughs> in confusion because that was my only attacking with. So now going for the confusion, hoping... Was that a quick claw, Giratina? Anyway, so it's going to hit me with a Shadow Ball. It doesn't really do too much. It's super effective, though. Um, I've got all those Calm Mines up, which actually made me help me tank a lot of attacks. Confusion does three quarters to Giratina. I'm going to go for a Moonlight this time. I'm a little bit concerned I could get critical hit. You know, I, I've got to keep this going, baby. All right, so getting up that Moonlight, I'm ba basically full health again. Now I'm going to get hit by another Shadow Ball from the Giratina. And uh, that obviously is doing, not doing too much. It's about a six hit, six hit KO. Anyway, so Giratina is going to go for another Shadow Ball. Was that a, I'm not sure if it was a Quick Claw or not. I wasn't, I wasn't actually sure. Anyway, so going for another Shadow Ball against me. I'm going to go for the Confusion. That's going to be enough to finish off the Giratina. I distinctly remember that Giratina having a, a Quick Claw. Anyway, maybe there's another battle. Like All the battles like wash in together with me. So the last Pokemon is Guzzlord. And you're probably thinking, but, but you can't hit it with Confusion. Guys, remember that turn I mentioned earlier that I said this is such an important play? That Toxic on the Guzzlord, baby, if I didn't have that, I, I couldn't do anything against this thing. So all i got to do now is be a complete scumbag and just start you know, getting up those Moonlights. And uh, anyway, so Guzzlord's going to have Toxic itself. That's going to poison me, which is problematic, but it is also poison itself. Um, I've only seen a couple of moves. Like, I've seen, what do we see? We've seen Toxic. We've seen uh, Stockpile. We've seen Snarl. I don't think we've seen a fourth move on it at the moment. I, I could be wrong. Its fourth move comes up now, which is Dragon Rage. I'm like, Dragon Rage is actually going to counter me because it's fixed damage. What? Oh, anyway, so the Toxic is starting to rack up nicely, baby. And uh, I need to get all I need to do is get those Moonlights off. I went for a confusion, disrespects confusion there, just to uh, stir up a little bit of salt. Anyway, so the Gust Lord's gonna go for another Dragon Rage. I'm like, damn, I got to, I've got to get this Moon, I've got to get this Moonlight up. I was gonna get like next turn. I'm gonna go down. Anyway, so uh, the uh, the Gust Lord is gonna go down in two turns to the Toxic. I've got to get this Moonlight up, people. So go for the Moonlight, healing myself. Like my Moonlight was on, you know, it was already on like a limited amount of PP too. That was also uh, like. A worry in this situation too. So now the Guzzlord is going to go for yet another Drag Dragon Rage Guzzlord, people. Breaking the meta, shaking it up, baby. Anyway, so Guzzlord is going to go down the next turn to the Toxic, and I'm going to get my final Moonlight up, and that is game, people. Confusion, Ultra Necrozma. I'm going to get a sweep with this, people. I'm going to work my butt off, and I'm going to grind and get this sweep happening, people. It's got to happen. Do you want to see the Ultra Necrozma Confusion sweep? Let me know in the comment section. Great game, and uh, man, I I'd be salty too. Like, the, the battle was, the battle sort of start, start off really salty with those like toxic misses and then the the confusion. I, I would have loved to see the look, you know, when they, when they say confusion. Anyway, let's get on to the second battle. Um, Now, obviously this battle was in Ubers. I just said, you know, people hit me up for an Ubers battle. Um, I didn't really specify that I didn't have a whole team either. So I was like, you can use Ubers, but you can use like anything below if you'd like to as well. It's not like those. You know, super serious team. All right, so this was a battle against Katie on my chat. Now we have a Ludicolo elite. It's going to set up Rain Dance. I'm like, no, it's a Swift Swim set. It's going to counter my auto demise. So that's going to boost its speed. And uh, yeah, I'm going to need two of those to actually outspeed this goddamn thing. So setting that on up anyway, uh, getting a, uh, becoming nimble, people. I'm, I'm very nimble. So now uh, the... Uh, 
the Ludicola obviously is going to be out at speed me. Hydro pump misses. Oh, damn. That would have done a lot of damage. I was expecting about three quarters damage from that. It uh, hits like an absolute truck in the rain. Um, high, you know, high base power in the rain. Ludicola's got nice special attack too. So now I'm going to be out at speed uh, the Ludicola. Going for the X's, hoping off of that scope and scummy crit. Oh, but it didn't happen. Hydro Pump hits this time. Man, this does a lot. Look at that. Look at that damage. You know, it does about three quarters damage like I kind of predicted. Now I'm going to go for the uh, X's against the Ludicola, and that is down. Man, I'm so lucky that if that like, hit the turn before, my Necrozma would have been buried. I would have been like, like facing a 6-2 six, like, six matchup. Anyway, this was a hard challenge about this team, too, using only three Pokemon. Made absolutely hard. So Stellar Steel is going to come out, and I'm thinking, oh, good, gee, guys, what, what am I actually going to do to take this thing out? So I get a scummy crit on Psycho Cut. I was like, that's good. Beautiful stuff. So uh, <laughs> the Stellar Steel is about to blast off. It uses Automize itself, and it's going to become nimble. The rain it stops in the Colosseum, but that's all good. The rain isn't really effective against... I don't think that really had much of an effect on the battle, except for the first few turns. So I'm going to outspeed that. I don't get a crit this time. Now the uh, Stellar Steel is going to go for an air slash. I love how it uses it, you know, lifts its uh, arms up there. Looks so cool. So it's going to take me out, and uh, yeah, this is this is a problem, people. It's going to get a boost boost and a special attack rise. Oh, I'm going to get swept. This is what I was thinking. I was like, oh, this is, you know, dire straits, people. So it was, it was let's face it, it was dire straits from the turn I began this battle. So anyway, it's going to go for a fire blast. I'm a special defensive Necrozma. Thank goodness I wasn't running like a sweeping one. Um, because that would have taken like so much more damage. All right, so going for the Scummy Beam Moon here. I've only got a little bit of PP on this, and that is just enough to take out the Cellar Steel. Obviously, it was a sweeping one. I say it would have lived um, if it wasn't. If it was like a bulky one, because I had no special attack EVs, and that was I'd say that was probably like max. Uh, I'm not sure. Could it be max health, max special attack, or max speed, max special attack? Anyway, so out comes Makago. Man, I love shiny Makago. It looks so cool. So using the Toxic on the Makago in case it's like a, a scummy Focus Sash Shell Smash set. Something like that. I don't want to get sweep, swept by like a purple snail. Anyway, so it's going to go for the Ancient Powers. Oh, no. Please don't get a boost. I, I couldn't I couldn't possibly bear it. I, I got so many of myself yesterday. I just I didn't want it to happen to me. So anyway, getting some extra, extra leftover recovery. Makago basically the donkeys with an attack. Now... I know this thing can pack Lava Plume as well, so I thought a burn could be, you know, that would be a bit of a pain, but I've got Restless, uh, you know, to heal that off, so that's not too bad. Anyway, so going for the Moon Guys Beam, uh, gets the Makago. Since I had no special attack EVs, it doesn't actually take it out. So now it's going to go for a Fire Blast. This is a savage set, and I'm going to hit uh, the uh, Leftover Recovery again. It doesn't burn me, but I guess it does some pretty good damage from Makago. It's also going to have Leftover Recovery itself. So one more Moon Guys Beam is going to be enough to take out Makago. Or I could go for a rest here, but I was thinking, well, all the previous battles, right, I got, I went for the rest, right, then I got Sleep Talk rest like four times or twice in a row, as you've seen before. So I thought, let's just get rid of this thing in case it has like recover or something like that. And I'm going to take out the Makago there. So down goes uh, the purple snail. So I still got three Pokemon to contend with. I've got two Pokemon left myself. So the battle has evened up uh, rather nicely. So now we have the uh, Crustle coming out. Uh, another, I really like the shine. It looks, um, it looks really cool. Like the green um, in the rock and stuff. So going for the Toxic against this thing, I was thinking, okay, well, if the Makago didn't have Shell Smash. This thing definitely has it. I know this will have it. So now it's going to go for the Shell Smash. I was like, oh, this is this is a problem. So I, I'm not bulky in defense at all. Um, I'm only max health, so I was thinking... Well, a stone mist in this thing, uh, an X scissor, like things like that are going to just absolutely wreck me. If I can get a Moon Guys beam against this thing, that'd be nice. But I know that I'm not going to be able to outspeed it because it's got that, you know, it's got that boost in speed and it's probably got max attack as well. Anyway, so I've got the Toxic off. That was kind of my main thing. I'm going to go and hit by the Stone Edge and that's going to take me out, unfortunately. But I kind of expected not to win that matchup. So, people, it, here we are again on my last Pokemon, the Mighty Ultra Necrozma with Confusion. So the good thing about this set, right, is I was bulky in defense. So I thought, well, I could set up the iron defense here and then let the toxic take it out, at least get a swap. Um, I've got some, you know, I, I can, I, this is a really good matchup for me. So setting up the iron defense there, I, d I don't think it had a lot to hit me. Like, I think X scissor was like neutral. Um, that was probably about it. I, I really don't think it had much else. Maybe maybe a ground type move like Earthquake. That was about the only other thing. Anyway, so it's going to hit me with the X-Scissor. I'm setting up Iron Defenses against this thing. That's really the only thing I could do. Like, I had nothing against this. Um, like, the only thing I could do was go for the Confusion. <laughs> anyway, so 
the Toxic is doing a nice job against uh, the Crossel. It's going to go for the X Scissor again. Um, I think I went for the Moonlight. Yeah, I went for the Moonlight this time because once again, I was a little bit worried about those crits. And uh, getting the Moonlight up, which is hype. So that's most of my health back, which is really good. Okay, so one more turn. The Crustles are going to go down to the Toxic, which is good. And there's only two Pokemon remaining. Now, it's going to go for another X Scissor, obviously doing as much damage output as it can before it faints. I'm going to go for the Calm Mind here. I'm going to get my Special Defense up and my Special Attack. Because I know there might be a Pokemon uh, when at this point in the game. I was looking at the Pokemon remaining. I knew there was you know, most definitely a Special Attacking Pokemon left. So I at least wanted to get one up, right? And I could uh, go from there and start to get uh, some more up as the battle goes on. So Crustle's down. There's only two. There's, you know, it's one, two at the moment. Now we have the Palkia coming up, people. And it's going to go uh, get the pressure on me. But that's all good. I've got a Calm Mind up. I'm going to go for Moonblast. Sorry, Moonlight <laughs> this turn. And uh, it's going to hit me with a, a Fire Blast. And it's going to crit me. Oh, so Alright people, there's nothing I could have done there. I tried my best. I hope you guys enjoyed this team. Scan the crap out of those codes. Have some fun. Peace out.